In geometry, we can look at a figure and say that it has symmetry if there is an isometry that will map part of the figure back onto itself. Well, an isometry, remember, is a rigid transformation. That is, a translation, a rotation, or a reflection. We can be more specific, however, for certain objects and say that they have rotational symmetry. An object has rotational symmetry if that figure is itself, after you rotate it, less than 180 degrees. If it is itself after exactly 180 degrees, no more, no less, then that figure has point symmetry. So let's look at a couple different figures here and try and determine if it has rotational symmetry and if so, what the degree is. So here we have an equilateral triangle and in my head if I rotate this, I can definitely map it back onto itself. So if I draw in some lines here that will intersect right there, I see that if all three of these are congruent, which they are since it's an equilateral triangle, then they all must be 120 degrees. So yes, this has rotational symmetry, and after every 120 degrees of rotation, it will be itself. So how many degrees of rota rotational symmetry does this have? It has 120 degrees. If we look at this figure right here, we have one, two, three congruent line segments intersecting each other. And it's pretty clear again that I could rotate this and have it map back onto itself. Well, since there are six congruent angles, we're going to have to do 360 divided by six. Well, 360 divided by six is 60 degrees. So this figure right here has 60 degrees of rotational symmetry. Last, if we look at this plus sign, if I had drawn this perfectly, it's pretty clear that after, that there are four ways that we can rotate this. So if we take 360 degrees and we rotate it four different ways, it's pretty clear that this will have 90 degrees of rotational symmetry. So again, rotational symmetry, what does it mean? It means that you can rotate it less than 180 degrees and the figure will be exactly the same. And if you can rotate it exactly 180 degrees, so let's say we had a figure kind of like this. You see that if I rotate it exactly 180 degrees, it will be itself. 